Hello guys, so today I'll be showing you how to hook your PS3 controller up to your computer to play games. Here's the things you need. You will need a Sony PS3 controller, or any PS3 controller that had, that will fit in the charging, um, the charging cord. Um, then what you need to do is you need to plug this end of the charging cord, the USB end, into your computer, and this end into your PS3 controller. And then you're wanting to get the DS3 um, tool. I will put the link in the description, download it, and install it. And go ahead and pause the video and come back when you have finished. Alright, and now you should be back and you should have an icon that looks just like this. So go ahead and click on the icon. When it pops up, you should go to Driver Manager. Check this and hit Load Driver. Now bear with me because this is loading your PS3 controller onto your computer and it may take a minute. Alright, now it has loaded, so go over here to your profiles. Make sure it has DualShock 3 slash 6 axis USB. Um, if you got the same Sony PS3 controller I have that comes with the PlayStation, then you want to make sure this box is filled in under Xbox 360 controller emulator. You just want to put X and put default. It should already be there, and that should be the only thing. Then go ahead and click Enable. Alright, now it is hooked up to your computer, and I will be showing you in some clips right after this on how to make it work in certain games. Um, there is a lot of different games that it works for, just not the ones I'm going to show you. I am going to include Call of Duty World at War and Microsoft Flight Simulator 2004. Alright, here it is. Hello guys, and welcome back, and here's our first game we'll be trying out, and it's Call of Duty World at War. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to go over to Options, and then go to Controls. And when you do this, it should automatically be set up for um, Xbox 360 when you go ahead and start this. If not, there's a setting for that. So just go on down here to Controls, and you can... Let's go to combat. You can see, um, like here it says Y, um, R, S, or V, L, T, R, T. Has all that. So um, that shows you it works. And um, if you want to configure the settings, you're just gonna have to look from an Xbox 360 controller and just convert it to PS3. But when you start it, you should just be able to play, it and it'll work just fine. It's, it's just like any other Call of Duty game you would play, only um, the left button and right button are all switched, so like L2's aim, R2 shoot, L1's throw, um, like concussion grenade, and then like R1's throw grenade, and um, things like that. Uh, you'll, you'll get used to the controls, and I'll see you in the next game. Welcome back guys, and this is Microsoft Flight Simulator 2004, and uh, I will do, be doing a lot of videos about that, so just check the description, I should have a link to the video um, about how to fly the airplanes on here, um, and I will always be using the PS3 controller. Um, when you go ahead and start the game, it should be already configured, so um, this is not the only game that works with the PS3 controller. Um, so you, you can just go and configure it in a lot of games. Um, Minecraft I think is one of them. I'm not sure. But anyway, just go ahead and try for yourself. Got any uh, com questions, go ahead and comment it and please like the video. Thanks.